Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, if you have landed to this video, you might be too conscious about your reality, or you might be interested in philosophy or related something related to that. Uh, but I have to say you that you are very conscious about your being or living as a human being in this particular planet. So uh, the most important question is what is the skill again this is not a very technical skill but it is a mixture of being being in the present and seeing the reality as it is as you know in today's generation people do uh, study a lot of subjects let's say in engineering they'll study computer science they'll study electronics they'll study civil engineering mechanical engineering i'm not against any of the branches but i'm just telling you that they stopped asking the most important question in today's time that is what is the most important skill that they should be learning in the future it will be relevant okay but uh, the the thing is nobody knows the future I totally understand but as we have to be you know uh, in in the past we always have seen that a person or a group of people who can predict the future those people are the ones who are the greatest you know among all beings because they can see the future coming so from now onwards we have to be a little foresighted okay in the sense we have to uh be able to predict a future little bit not exactly predict but also to go on uh, see the reality and act along with that so can so that we can be relevant in the future okay so that's why coming back to the question what is the most important skill that we should be learning so that will be relevant in the future so i'll be showing you in the screen uh, as you can see i have written a particular question here what is the most important field in engineering that is going to stay in future and what skill i should learn that ai will not affect me in future okay this is a very uh, simple question but yet very effective question that nobody ask okay again i'm not going to answer this question for you but you you'll be saying that i'm quite biased or i'll i'm quite opinion uh, opinionated uh, so that's the reason i am simply searching it in ai so that it knows better it have lot of more data again i'm not saying that uh, ai will be 100% true as because it totally depends on your perspective what perspective you have okay even if you talk practically about the ai ai is nothing but a, a tool machine that is made up by a data okay lot of data so whether it be google whether it be open ai whatever it is made up of data so data again uh you cannot say it is 100% correct but it is it may be opinionated but again it has lot of data along with it so uh that's the reason i'm saying that it is more accurate than a normal human being okay so as you can see the answer here uh here it has lot of answer but the number one answer as we can see is computer science uh, and software engineering all right so uh, as i am from computer science background i'll be going with this particular i'm not against to any other fields but i will be going with this particular field as i have knowledge for this field all right so the next question again is you know in today's uh time all the colleges are implementing this particular uh computer science subject whether you are from civil whether you are from electrical electronics mechanical any all the branches have to learn computer science that's a very good thing okay but along with that in there also there are a lot of confusion students have what is the confusion so this is the next question that i am going to ask in computer science also there are a lot of fields that are divided so with what field particular narrow field that we should choose in that particular computer science as because computer science is a vast uh, subject okay vast field you can say so we have to narrow it down so uh, if i narrow it down it have basically uh again i'm not going a particular don't go totally with the particular fact and all okay i'm just talking in general so there are in general let's say five to six fields what are those first of all uh you can go with competitive programming that is one of the field second is let's say web development 
ए आई ए आई इट्स सेल्फ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस नेक्स्ट इज साइबर सिक्योरिटी नेक्स्ट इज क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग नेक्स्ट इज डेवॉप्स और यू कैन एड सम मोर लाइक एप एप डेवलपमेंट ऑल्सो ओके सो आउट ऑफ दोस विच वन इज द अगेन मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फील्ड दैट यू कैन चूज ओके सो आई विल बी आस्किंग दिस अगेन टू ए आई एंड एज यू कैन सी द आंसर इज समवेयर रिलेटेड टू ए आई एंड साइबर सिक्योरिटी एंड डेवॉप्स एंड क्लाउड ऑल्सो बट हियर आई बी गोइंग लिटिल बिट ओरिएंटेड टू आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड साइबर सिक्योरिटी ओके दैट इज अगेन माई ओपिनियन आई वुड से एज बिकॉज एवरीबडी हैव देयर ओन ओपिनियन सो आई आल चूज साइबर सिक्योरिटी एंड ए आई एंड लेट मी लेट मी क्लैरिफाई यू लिटिल बिट अबाउट ऑल दोज इफ यू हैव आर हैविंग लिटिल बिट कन्फ्यूजन अबाउट दोज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट इज लेट अ स्टार्ट विथ विच प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज यू शूड स्टार्ट देर आर लॉट ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज लाइक राइट पाइथन जावा सी सी प्लस प्लस विच वन यू शूड स्टार्ट विद इफ यू आर स्टार्टिंग विथ अ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो बेस्ड ऑन माई experience i would suggest you one particular subject that is python don't go for any other because as because we have a limited time and we need to learn as much fast as we can we don't have time at all okay it is a fast growing world as ai is leading the world so we need to be very very fast so i would suggest you to go with python as because with python you can do cyber security with python you can do game development app development web development all the big big uh, companies like Netflix, NASA, Google, all they are using Python. Okay, so this is the easiest language that you can go, and I'll be teaching Python in my uh, channel also that you can refer to. Next thing is after Python, what you should be learning? As let's say you are from civil or electronics, what you should be learning? So after Python, you should be going with AI. AI why? Any field, you can put AI into that field. Let's say you are. a civil engineering or a mechanical engineer if you learn ai you can implement it in your own field let's say civil so let's say i i am from civil a uh, civil student and i know ai what i can do i can make an ai application where it is uh, it can design a room for you won't it be great yes it will be great mechanical let's say i am making an ai app where it is making a machine uh, 3d machines okay prototype won't it be amazing yes it will be uh, like that i have just given you a hint about what ai can do and it is doing already uh, so if you are uh, not learning ai you will be uh, you will be left out so that we have to stay relevant in the coming future right so next thing is after learning ai what you should be doing so in this particular channel i'll be after learning ai we will be going going with cyber security all right uh, as my in my opinion that if ai is growing one more field will be growing equally that is nothing but cyber security you cannot deny the fact that if there are good people there are bad people also okay so to balance the uh, world we need good people and bad people all right so i'm not talk telling you to be a bad guy i'm just telling you there will be bad guy you need to protect it from them all right that is the reason you need to have the knowledge of cyber security so that is the reason i'll be uh, going with cyber security in my channel uh and that's it uh and i would like to tell you one thing this is my first a uh, video in this channel zenkaya zenkaya i'll be uploading lot of uh, tech related subjects plus little bit spiritual and philosophical subjects also okay uh next about me my name is bijan singha i am a freelance technical trainer i go to different colleges and i teach about all these tech related subjects so i hope you will be uh, supporting me throughout this journey and i i my goal is to build a community where we all can grow together okay i hope you have liked this uh, video thank you